the short answer to the question of whether Russia and uh, Lithuania could develop better neighborly relations is, is simple. Not at present, and not in the immediately foreseeable future for that matter. But there are forces within uh, Lithuania and within Russia, which nonetheless can be used to, to, as, a, as a form of dialogue. I have in mind the fact that within Russia, as the recent elections proved, there is a substantial group of people who uh, would look for evolutionary change in Russia, essentially in a liberal direction, and that that would meet up with the existence in Lithuania and other Baltic states of a deep understanding that there is a difference between the Russian government and the Russian people. Um, Lithuania has, after all, given refuge to a number of uh, Russian people in difficulties and has a long and deep history of interacting with, with Russia cohesively and, and usefully. There's also, that's going to be governed by what happens in Europe as a whole and within the EU in particular, where there is a big diversity of opinions as to how to manage relations with Russia. And where also there is now discussion of a possible uh, EU military organization, which would be pursuing some sort of strategic autonomy, uh, which would include how best to deal with Russia. Personally, I have a lot of doubt about what that actually means, and I'm not sure it takes fully account of the fact that within uh, the EU, there's been a, a long and steady history of declining military effectiveness and power. In Russia, on the other hand, that's been accelerated and is used, uh, 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 for example, in Ukraine, in Georgia, uh, and now in a different sort of way in Belarus and so on and so forth. The danger here is, is that there should be a degree of division. The new German Chancellor, when he is uh, uh, chosen, will presumably make an early visit to Russia, and I expect President Macron at some stage will want to do the same. And they will be looking for a fresh relationship with, with Russia, um, not exactly a reset, but something, if we have a good dialogue, that's what we'll achieve will be the thought. So far, that's not had any uh, useful effect, but it will possibly feed a further vision in Russia of division within Europe, which is not healthy or good in this context. The story of Russia since 2020 has, after all, been a story of increasing repression and the elections that took place in uh, September this year were elections to close the books on the election of President Putin or someone exactly like him in 2024 and maintain Russia's present policies. They were uh, had questionable results from the point of view of the Russian of, uh, authorities because in fact they represented, despite all the restrictions, a uh, um, a sense of a wish for change in the wider Russian population. Um, and I think they ensured that it means that, that if the 2024 election is uh, to be managed as the Kremlin would like it to be, that would also involve a degree of um, falsehood and therefore would be less legitimate. I do believe that in the longer term, there will be change in Russia because there has to be for the country to become prosperous uh, and well integrated in, into the world system. Its survival as an autocracy bent on pursuing its uh, own uh, interests uh, solely is not a solution which will, will last and be effective. 
So although I do think that it's impossible at present to, to describe the, the relationships as neighborly, I do believe it is possible in the longer term that that will develop.